And this is brand new, folks. Well, it's brand new to you. You haven't heard it. I've written it 20 years ago, but at any rate, brand new. Uh, this is a thousand cuts. This is how the drill runs every month. The refrigerator goes bare, the cupboard strips naked, and the canned goods that we so painstakingly stocked up last month have gone missing in action. Call it death by a thousand cuts. My wife and I tramp down to Salvation Army where the food of the gods seems in equally short supply. And don't even ask them about the nectar. It's scarcer than water or decent waiting room furniture. Looks like death by a thousand cuts. After cooling our heels, we finally get called in, and after a few preliminary questions, the worker's tongue drops the brass knuckles. How much do we get in food stamps? How much do we make per month? What do we spend? Hands up if you have to run empty. Death by a thousand cuts. And just then her eyes narrow to slits. The computer has flagged you, she explains. You've been here three times this year. Another pause for effect. If you come back again, she says, you'll have, you'll have to review your budget, or you might have to take a class. I let her words wash right over me, trying not to take the monologue personally. Four hours of sleep will do that, you know. I'm running in place, but certainly not for fun. Death by a thousand cuts. Now, I'm just wondering what's left to budget with five people for every job, myself included. Like that old school song says, nothing from nothing leaves nothing, right? But you gotta have something. Death by a thousand cuts. Anyway, we finally score two grocery bags and take them home. At least there's a whole chicken this time and a bag of sausage patties plus the usual generic macaroni and cheese crackers tomato soup and cans of green beans and corn, every can off-brand to beat the band, some bearing dents, others bearing a tear here or there, all bought, begged, or donated from folks who cared, or so they like to say. Smells like death by a thousand cuts. I've since related my experiences to a friend who ran in place to buy groceries just like me, and he said, you know, there's a fine line between philanthropy and sadism. Call it <laughs> death by a thousand cuts. <laughs>